What is up guys, Manfriend Gaming here bringing you some more Jade Empire. I did promise you guys I would finish this game, it's time to stick to that promise. Let's go ahead and talk to Lady Rento, she is for our side quest and she is in the Imperial Arena. Imperial Arena? No other place like it in all of the Jade Empire. I think she's for the bounties, so that's what we need to double check. I've heard all about you, it's a pleasure, I'm Lady Rento. Well I'm sure you've seen my matches if you've been in the arena, like at all. Hmm. Creative Yukon. Captain Sen's still willing to do my husband's bidding and hunt him down, is he? I swear, my husband is insufferable. Yu Kong's a harmless aspiring actor who asked me if I would act as his patron. Since my husband was away from the city, again, I accepted and gave Yu Kong a moderate stipend. I thought he was charming. Yeah, why is Yu Kong wanted? That was how my husband presented the situation to the authorities. He didn't want to face the shame of supporting a humble actor. My husband's a fool, but when he lowers his head, all I can do is let him charge and hope he rams something solid enough to slow him. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty good analogy. Hmm, how much did you give this actor? Probably less than my husband is putting forth as a bounty for poor Yukong. That young man doesn't deserve this. Do you know I can find him? I would wager that you'll find him in the Scholar's Garden. Yu Kong was going to try out for that new play. I'm sure you heard about it when it was performed in the Golden Way. Made quite the impression, I'm told. Yu Kong was going to try out for a role as a scholar, so he may be using his costume to hide in the garden. Alrighty. I should get back. I should let you get back to what you were doing. You happened to find creative. The poor boy did nothing wrong, and my husband is being unusually cruel to him. Good luck with your search. I have to get back to the estate. So much to do. Well, it honestly probably seems like that... I don't think she understands that her husband probably thinks that she's, like, hitting on that guy, or that guy's hitting on her. I don't know how you can miss that or misconstrue that in any way, but... That's probably why you put the bounty on him. Lustful wow. <laughs> What a name. There's a true legend among us. Not Raging Dragon and not any of the combatants, but Lusting Lao. Oh, finally. There's actually some healing and some focus stuff. That's actually really useful. Now we are fully equipped. We have to head all the way back to Scholar Gardens to find that guy. And then I suppose we should look up the other bounty as well. Because I believe you get a pretty strong gem at the end of that quest chain. And it's nice to always do as lot of bonus stuff as possible. Um, I definitely want to do some more of the main story stuff though, but the main story picks up so freaking fast at this point. Oh, that's Black Leopard School. This is the Golden Way. Okay, I think it's the Golden Way. And yeah, the main story is insanely quick after you get to like the uh, Lowe's Assassin Hideout. You get to do a whole bunch of stuff there, then you get to like. It just kind of like really builds up and there's not a whole lot of time for like side content it feels like because you're kind of so like gripped in the story. So that's kind of why I'm trying to do a lot of this stuff now. I'm sure it's like slower for you guys to watch to see all this bonus content and I'm not trying to be like that but even loading the game, my guy's like level 16. I think you can beat the game at like level 16 or something crazy like that if you just do a lot of the main story. So my guy would be actually be pretty strong by the end. Is that supposed to be a dog? What is that thing on the floor? Oh, it is. Okay. I couldn't tell at first. Let's see. Market. Necropolis. So this is the Scholar. Scholar Garden. This does actually make you run always a little bit faster. Which I think is useful. And I didn't do any of the Inquisitor branch to get into the Lowe's Assassins because I didn't need it. I might do it just for the, uh, show you guys what it's like. I'm pretty sure all you do is screw over an innocent man and get bad points. <laughs> so I might not do it just for the sake of, like, being evil. You might, yeah, my guy's greedy, but it doesn't mean he's out of his way to be evil all the time. So we'll see. So where's Creative Yukong? Hmm. 
True strength. I don't know if it was him, but like in disguise. No. Silk Fox wants to speak as well. We'll talk to her after this. I hope you're not here to pester me. Yeah. Suspicious. Oh, heavens no. Everyone here is extremely legitimate and completely mm -hmm. normal. Yes, indeed. Um, well, no, not him. Uh, he, of course, isn't usual in the usual uh, sense. Not at all. <laughs> Everyone else, though, is perfectly legitimate. General questions. Who has time for such mundane subjects? Go ask one of the scholars. One of the other scholars, that is. All manner of studies. The I wonder how you get this guy to admit that he's who I'm looking for. Celestial integration. All of these are vital pursuits of knowledge. Not that you would understand such lofty matters. Why don't you tell me more about the history of dramatic systems? Well, you see, drama can be broken down into several systems, and I study the history of those systems over time. How they My dog is going nuts. That's I'm sorry if you guys can hear him. He's so adorable, but... He's chilling with me as I'm recording. For once. He outlined some of the systems for me. Well, there's the new system, of course, but everyone knows that. Then we have the uh, old system, which... As you may surmise, <laughs> is no longer in use. That's a brief summary of my latest work, at any rate. How many of these? <laughs> how have these systems changed? Oh, it's all very complex, and I really don't feel like describing it to you at any length. That's how you know I'm a scholar, you see. An unwillingness to share all the information. True. That's the ideal scholar right there. You're creative, you Kong, aren't you? Of course not. I'm... Ah, oh, Dread. This isn't working at all. How did you know? Uh, that was a pretty exact example. <laughs> as posing as a scholar. You're here to hunt me down, then. Lord Rento has it in for me. And I figured it would come to this. I don't suppose running would do me any good. How did someone of your skill manage to con a noble anyway? I was unjustly accused. I simply petitioned Lady Rento for some silver to support me as an actor. Patronage, it's called. She agreed. But her husband flew into a rage when he found out. And now I have a death sentence on my head. It's not fair. And if you were a decent person, you'd help me get out of this city instead of taking me in. It's the only way I'll get clear of Lord Rento's wrath. Give me proof that you're falsely accused. It sounds suspect to me, to be honest. You need more proof than my pathetic attempt to pose as a scholar? How about the fact that Lord Rento was out of town when I built him? Not that anyone but Lady Rento will confirm that for you. Still, it should be apparent that I'm not some great confidence man. What would my help be worth to you? I'll admit that I can't match the bounty on my head, but I could give you half of what they're offering. I have an idea how I could get out of the city, too. Uh, I don't think that's good enough for me. Uh, I'm not earning any silver talking to you. Time to collect the head. All the best actors die young. If we're going to do this, I might as well get out of these robes. Leaping tiger. Yo, this dude seems ready. He has two axes. Oh wait, can I just shatter him? Aw, uh, heck, I'm rusty. By creative Yukong. <laughs> I did get bad points, fair enough. I wanted the money. 
You must go to the Lotus Assassin Fortress like we agreed. Find the evidence against Death's Hand, and I will help you rescue Master Li. I wonder why she wanted to talk to me. Is there something troubling you? I'm not sure we have the time. There are too many important matters at stake. We need to make progress before I will feel comfortable spending more time on idle chatter. Alrighty. Do not hesitate for too long. So no problem, Silk Fox. So we are gonna get some money from that. <laughs> hey, man, he couldn't match the offer. I'm not. I didn't help that dude. He seemed really suspect. Maybe I'm in the wrong here, but uh, I'm gonna take the L on that one. I guess if you guys disagree, I I just think he was suspect. Like, you petitioned the dude's wife when he wasn't there to start up acting. I don't know. Like, I think there was more to it than that, but he just wouldn't say. So. Um, honestly, if he had said more to it. I mean, maybe that was all there was to it, but if he had said, like, they had an affair or something. Uh, it would have been easier to decide what I was going to do. But I feel like there were... Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I, I think that was suspect. I was going to take the money. Now we need to find the other dude. Um, collect Yu Kong's bounty, right? Talk to Tong. No, that's not it. I guess we have to turn in the bounty. I still have missions from Tian's Landing that I don't want to do, or I can't do, because they are good points only. There's like real no benefit to it. The thing in Tian's landing is I have to return a clay figurine to this to this merchant and when you do that the merchant says he'll give you a discount when the water comes in but because I did that thing with the dam I think I kept it open forever the water would never come into town so he'll never get a shipment of equipment so you'll never get the discount or you'll get a discount but you'll never get any equipment to spend the discount on so there's no point in doing it let's see Oh, I think this is the bounty. The bounty officer over here. Always a pleasure. I have a bounty I wish to collect. Yes, Creative Yukong was caught in the Scholar's Garden. Brilliant work. Only fools steal from those with the money and power to motivate men like me. Just pass them the motivation my way and I'll be happy. <laughs> Here's your bounty as we negotiate. Well, that brings an end to our pursuit of two fiends. A shame I don't have more work for someone with your skills. Is that it? Hmm. I know little more than what the Honorable Lotus Assassin presented. Some treasonous southerner has been undermining the ministry, <laughs> causing <Captain laughs> It's great how he's talking about me. Not as such. The Lotus Assassins want to deal with this traitor personally. I don't envy anyone who's attracted that kind of attention. Of course. All right. Wow. Holy cow. 4,000. That was way more than I was expecting. There's more stuff you can do. You can do, um, the flying. But I think it's time to progress to the main story some. Because it's really interesting once you get into it. So let's go ahead and head out to the necropolis once again. And get some progress going. Because we do need to beat Jade Empire at some point. I'm like in part 40 or something like that. Or pretty close. And... I haven't made like a whole lot of headway through the main story yet. Maybe we got a decent amount, but I think I should talk to Wildflower and see if we can open up some of Yazen's uh Excuse me, holy cow, I just did a huge yawn. We should see if Ya Zen will offer us any, like, details on who he is and what his deal is. Kupir Nasa. 
Will you? I, I. It's time you and I had. A Just zooming in on like a dude's legs. You've been paying too much attention to this girl's problems and the guardian's advice. We need more realism here. They're wanting to talk to you. The girl is already dead. She's a walking corpse. She's nothing to anyone. What I want is the body. I need an anchor, and this little walking meat puppet can provide that. But Chai Ka gives me trouble. He's in my way. He's weak, but the girl sides with him. To take control, I need your help, and I'm willing to offer servitude for it. You'd offer servitude to me? Why not? How long do you live anyway? I'm immortal. <laughs> That's a really solid point. A few decades doing odd jobs for you would be worth it for my freedom. Ah, my dude's just running randomly. Yeah, you actually do get to unlock Yazen now. I'll try him out. The world is ours for the taking. Yeah, hideous demon using wildflower's body as an anchor. Yazen tears through enemies with his claws and tongue. So he's a giant toad demon. Which is awesome, considering he poisons enemies for you. I think Yao Zen is ultimately stronger than Chai Ka, but I do like Chai Ka a lot more. And Yao Zen's pretty cool too. But, oh heck. Yao Zen, you want to make your way to the battlefield over here? Oh, any day, y'all, Zen. I mean, we did just kill an enemy. He had a little bit of a hard time getting to the battlefield, but I guarantee you he's pretty strong. Now, where is the Lotus Assassin Keep? I forgot where they were. To the city. Grave Digger. Spirit Font. Is that it up there? Might be. Necropolis is a little bit confusing, but it's not too bad. Oh, that was a charged one. That was dumb of me. I hate these things so much. Yo, y'all Zen's out. Oh. Yo, my guy just wish he wasn't walking. I wish he'd run up to the dude. Maybe I won't take y'all Zen. <laughs> he got bodied. He couldn't make his way to the first fight and he got bodied in the second. That's not a great record. I'll keep Silk Fox with me for now. Anything is better than waiting around in the camp. Ah, excellent. I have Oh he, he actually has some new stuff, it looks like. Legendary strike. I think I have that style. Wow, I have so much money. I don't even know what to do with that at this point. I might just buy the styles just to show them off a little bit and then probably never use them again. It's not there. It might be over here. It's the lowest assassin keep. Yeah, that's it. This is an ancient repository of knowledge. It contains records of the Empire. 
natures of the spirit. There we go. Let's go and enter the fortress here, and then I might actually end the part. Let's see kind of what happens here. Oh, the Lost Assassin Fortress was once meant to be the tomb of vulnerable. Oh, pfft. I should have read it, but then I got confused because it like swapped on me. Ah, I was told to expect a new recruit, and you fit the description. Well done, braving the necropolis. A troublesome walk, but it weeds out the weak. I am the Watcher, and this is the fortress of the Lotus Assassin. It was built amid the graves of a thousand generations, the tomb of the Emperor at its core. Come, I will show you to the Hall of Induction. If you have servants, they will be allowed to accompany you, but you are responsible for their actions. <laughs> That's ironic considering she's like the princess. Formed from the defunct Order of the Lotus, the Lotus Assassins are an extension of the Emperor, as dictated by Death's Hand, and implemented by Grand Inquisitor Gia. Thanks to her direction, we are becoming the face of power in the Empire. The Imperial Army will soon be stationed only at taverns and fish markets. The Great Golem Army constructed here will spread across the Empire. Our masters will be all-powerful. You will assist. If you survive, weak recruits die quickly. Master Gang is one of our traders. He will be your master as you seek to become an assassin. He is harsh, but his knowledge will be invaluable to you. You will find him at the opposite end of the Hall of Induction, near the entrance to the Central Chambers. Do not keep him waiting. Uh? I don't know if we need to ask many questions. What would you like to know? Mm, look, Death's Hand and Grand Master Gia, whatever. Talking about the fortress and the Golem Army. Did someone try to enter the fortress just before I did? I saw no one. Only the most skilled of our number can enter this place without my knowing. I am the Watcher. I'm pretty sure Sagacious Zoo came in, but... Alright. Go to your teacher, Acolyte. Do not keep him waiting. The far end of the hall, at the entrance to the central chambers. Find Master Gong. Once we are close enough to the heart of the assassins, we can prove Death's hand is behind this golem army. All right. Is there something you need? If not, we should. Is there, oh, I thought she wanted to talk about something. Do not hesitate. Alrighty. Wow, my guy is like really hurt. Holy cow. If there's a healing fountain here or something, that'd be great. There's a focus one. But no chi. Dang. I think it's gonna be a fight now. With the rise of the golems, we acolytes have fewer opportunities to serve. You are unwelcome. Out of my way, or you'll be dead when I'm running the place. We are losing status to the Golem army, and you want to take more attention away from us? I think you need to prove your worth. Do you think yourself worthy of making such a demand? What proof are you worthy of? If any of you think you can beat me, step up now or stand aside. Even at like a third health, I can wear you guys out. More blood to stain my hands. A badge of honor. Leaping tiger. I wouldn't be too certain about that if I were you. <laughs> Huh. 
Oh, heck. <laughs> I forgot you disintegrate them. <laughs> It's been a while since I played. I forgot you just totally disintegrate the dude. So, there is no discouraging you. You have come to the heart of the assassins, and you already have enemies. Are you certain you are ready for what you will learn? I don't think the choice is yours anymore. This is my realm, where my demons hide. You will be forced to see them. We have discussed much in our time together, but not everything. I left some things buried, but now you have descended to their level. Uh, whose side are you on? Whose side is worthy of having me? Is your motivation so clear now that you walk these halls? Go, your new master is waiting. Secure a place near the heart of the assassins, and you will be near your goal. Grand Inquisitor Shia is key. Be careful of him. I never believed he was on our side. Hmm. I wish there was a spirit font. I know there's one more cool thing here, and then I will peace out of this video. Yeah, Merchant Kia Jong. Kia Min is the girl at the academy that died at the beginning. I'm my own silver. You're not of a personal sales, are you? Your surname is Kia. I knew a Kia Min once. Uh, <laughs> she is dead. She fell in an attack related to those assassins. That's it. Oh, uh, yeah, makes a good point. A truly practical approach that most people, I'm sure, find lacking. What do you have for sale? Okay, so if you're a good, a good character and you tell him that Kia Min's alive... He'll ask you what her hairstyle is, like her hairstyle, so he can believe that you actually helped her. And you can tell him, and he'll give you a huge discount. But I guess now that she's dead, it doesn't matter. Gem of the Struggle. That looks pretty decent, I'll take that. I might have something better, but... Is... Gem of... Oh, I already have Gem of Struggle. Oops. I might... Spirit Charm, Spirit of Six. I might unequip that and equip the other Gem of Struggle. There we go. Alright guys, so that is it for this part. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I, I feel like I'm talking kind of groggily. I don't know why that is. I hope you guys don't mind. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. We're 17 hours into this game. Can you guys believe that? Holy cow. We will definitely be beating it soon though because we'll be doing a lot of story stuff. So thanks guys for sticking true to the series. It means a lot to me. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys. Peace.